This is the pregame show, first time this year. We thought we'd talk with a parent who's also been a coach and knows a lot about college and high school basketball. Sarah Muxtad, you played in college and you scored over a thousand points, I believe, at Colgate? I did, yes. So you know a lot about this game. What's it been like since December when the team started and all of a sudden we've gone through Whitensville Christian and this is the fourth trip to Worcester for the finals? Yeah, well, first off, on behalf of all the parents of the basketball players, we would just like to thank Dober, Sherburn, and Cable. You guys have been with us all the way, um, especially in your free time, and, and you've been coming out. And we really, really appreciate your support. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a team that's evolved, right? They've started out the season slow. They lost some games early on where they gave up a lead, and they should have they should have won. And um, we've seen a toughness um, in this tournament. Uh, like no other. So we couldn't be more proud of them and we're excited to see what they do today. Do you get any feedback from John as we're going along? I know he's a quiet kid, but does he say much about how the team is feeling coming into the finals? Uh, he is a quiet kid. He doesn't say too much, but uh, he's determined. And what he says is that the team is determined. Um, there's six seniors, and for some of them, it's going to be the last time they ever step on the court. And uh, they're ready. They've, they've worked so hard, and uh, they've really come together as a team. Give me, give me a synopsis of what Diaz has to do on offense and defense for this game. Well, I have to say, um, my husband's been scouting all week, and I've kind of been a little too nervous to uh, to go through that. Um, but I, you know, they think they got a couple of scorers, um, and we're going to have to put some pressure on them. Um, we're going to have to uh, continue to play defense. I mean, I think our defense has got us here. And uh, we, we need to box out and rebound and control the tempo. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy the game. Thanks so good, much. Good talking to you. <laughs> okay. NBA Hall of Famer Larry Bird, who once said, push yourself and push yourself again and again. Don't give an inch until the final buzzer. And that's what it's about today, as that's what brings us to today's Division III Championship at the College of Holy Cross. We now pause for our national anthem. Was a youngly, a lovely young sophomore from Bishop Stang. We don't have her name, but she did a great rendition of the national anthem. And we are about to set set for championship state division three basketball. Bruce Glazer, Brad Crandall to my left, Cam Crandall behind me. 
Mike Klein here and starting the first half, first quarter on camera, Danny Murphy. It should be for the Raiders, Raycroft, Waugh, Muckstack, Stark, and Scary. Looking at the other team, and they are the home team from what I can see. It will be Lopes Perry, each has a thousand points in the season. I believe Markey, if I see him out there. Yeah, Markey, Joey Sylvia, and one more. Um, I think Eric Camacho, yeah, he's jumping center. Eric Camacho is against the Muck. Tip one by the blue team. Yeah, Muck. Going right to left in this first half at a beautiful facility. About two years old. Dive on the floor, we got a foul. Foul against Bishop Stang. Sylvia's first. You know, first. Muck has won every tip in these these most important games. I noticed that too, yeah. His height and his jump is, is great. It's unbelievable. But his defense is what got us here. Yep. Stock, the leading scorer in the tournament for this team. Ball tipped away, coming down the floor is Perry. And let me tell you something, doesn't matter who's home, a visitor Perry gets followed by Muck. This Bishop Stang throng, they got some buses here. And they got a, they overwhelmed the stadium with maroon shirts. They had three buses come in. Dover Sherborne kids, unfortunately, were left on their own. I think they wanted to drive in rather than sit in a bus for a long trip. The problem is parking is scarce here. And I got a feeling some of these kids are just still getting into the parking lot. One nothing. This is the first time in forever I can remember the DS trailed in the game. Right, and uh, that was a nice steal by uh, um, Perry there. Yeah. This kid's the leading score. He averages almost 21 in the tournament, and now he's got two. Wow. Last game against Drake at 21 points, three steals, eight rebounds. Automatically a trap. They knew this was coming. And I've said it before, you can't play a trap a whole game. You just burn your legs out. Mm -hmm. Very noisy from the staying crowd. And then lay up. Go! And wow. Stock gets fouled. And what they got to do is they got to tune out this crowd completely. Put earplugs in if you have to. Just ignore the crowd because they are loud and they are mostly um, Bishop staying. We will hear the contingent across the court to our right. They're smaller, but, you know, DS kids are loud. Yeah, and what a basket there by Stark with the foul. So important Stark gets going. Three to two, Dover Sherborne. Each team is 20 and five on the year. Interesting, but there's something to that I gotta tell you that I looked up. So, Justin Lopes calls it out, got it by Raycroft. Hands off to Mr. Perry. Damien drives and doesn't score. Rebound Muckstad, he is hacked. We're going the other way. Let it get up there, Muckstad. And the, the you can't do that, a familiar cry is back. Love it. They let you know right away that you can't do that. The Spartans were ranked number two in Division Three South. The problem in the tournament for them has been they have not played a better team than them. They have 20 and five. The closest team they played to them had six losses. Everybody else had more than six. So we don't know the strength of this team going against better teams. Stock with the ball outside. Raycroft has it. Shot clock down to 10. Muck looking around, looking low post. Hooks it inside to the big guy. Score! Five nothing Stock. Five two Stock. Well, that's what Diaz needed, start to heat up quick, and it looks like he came already hot. Colby Santos in his fifth year coaching for Stang. Rick Grady, I believe, in his 13th year for the Raiders. They're going to shoot from anywhere. They like to drive like this. Perry lays it up and in. I really contested on that one. That, that was got, Sylvia. They got a, that was Sylvia? They got to tighten that up. Yeah. Outside, I still think it was Perry. Um, um, it wasn't. Okay. No, that was number one. Stark. Either way, they got a point or two. Muckstad high post drives around right side. Cam Raycroft fakes. Uh, I don't know about that. That was real close. Yeah, but points against in the tournament. Fifty point four points against is what uh, Stang's been giving up. But on the other side, get this: in the tournament. Uh, Dover Sherborne is averaging 34.8 points against. No playoff team has scored more than 40 against them. Drive, up, no good, yes. Got a nice ring for number three, Declan Markey, a sophomore. Pass to Stark, gives it back to Scary. 6-5, Stang. 
Stock drives, hands off, fake, Waugh puts it up and in. Wow. Surprise was no foul. What a fake there by yeah. Waugh. What a nice play. By, Stark. by the way, I got to tell you on headset, just ignore that crowd as best you can. It's okay. hard. Bringing it back out is Dame Perry. They call him Dame, I don't know. I like Damian much better, mm -hmm. his preference. Lopes, they both thousands of point scorers. Stock steals the ball. Stock on a breakaway. Stock is fouled, and that should be, see, to me, that's a breakaway foul, and it should be, a, Raycroft wanted an intentional, and he's absolutely right, because yeah. no one was going to stop him. That's like a breakaway in hockey. Yeah, that's a penalty agree. shot. That should be two shots a line. It's going to be out of bounds play, because that's the way they call it. Well, that's a terrible way to call it. It is awful. Sophomore scary against the pink shoed Perry. Make that Sylvie with the pink slippers. Yeah, Sylvia. Yeah. Perry had them earlier, I swear, in one of the previous games. Maybe they're changing, exchanging sneakers. Mm -hmm. Foul on the floor, and that will be on number five, Isaiah Rodriguez. That's their third. Actually, Perry's foul. His first. Team's fifth. That was fast. Look at the scoreboard. They get all the fouls and the scores. Look at that. It's like a professional game. Right. You don't have to get on the scores table. <laughs> out of bounds play goes out of bounds. It'll be white ball. I mean, looking at the scoreboard, we haven't seen this at all in years. You can see how many fouls, how many points each player has, and it's almost scary. It's so nice. Well, that's why there was no parking. All this staff taking the bus. <laughs> You're right. All driving their cars. They opened up an auxiliary uh, parking lot for us. That was nice. That is nice. We were the first ones in. Driving is Perry. Coming down low, laying it up, and wow. stuffing it as Muck stand into the bleachers. Muck! What a stuff. Look at that, just amped up the crowd. Canty and Ryan come in. Scary comes out along with Wah. Ah, Wah. Outside pass. That ball almost hit line. Jeff Parcells over there. <laughs> he still likes us. Yeah. Driving in. And a wild shot. I don't know what that was supposed to be by Camacho. He looked like he was going to throw it to the bleachers himself. Nice tough play by Stark there on the rebound, too. Perry trying to stay with Muck. Muck outside of Canty. And then he throws it out of bounds. They were going for a high leap pass, and it just went beyond everybody but Will Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, Canty has a little jitters, I think. This is the second final in four years for Stang. They won it four years ago when these, some of these gentlemen were freshmen, and they think they deserve it this year. Ha, time will tell. The better team will win, because these are the two best teams in Division Three, and the best one's going to win no matter how you look at it. Officials not, not even being considered as part of the game. They're just going to have to be the best team, and it's going to be a long game. Lopes looking for some room, drives the paint, pops. Good. Wow. That boy's good. 8-7, Stang. Mustang drives against Camacho. Camacho stays with him. Ryan's wide open for the three. Boing, and a foul. Going the other way, a walk. The, um, unfortunately, the timeout, I believe, by um, Rick Brady. But I got to say, um, depending which side you're on, the Spartans... Mascot is cute or he's just completely putrid. Which do you go with? <laughs> he looks like a knockoff of the uh, Star Wars. Spartans. <laughs> Star Wars or, or a bad cartoon version of Star Wars. <laughs> hey, good for him. You know? Yeah. Marky, number three for Bishop Stang, had an ankle injury, but he, he seems to none, nonetheless for wear. And by the way, I do want to mention my stupidity in the last game. I kept calling my wife erstwhile. What I meant was resilient, energetic, helpful. I looked it up. It means old. Oh, no. <laughs> so after she beat me up, I promised never to use it again. Oh, good, good. She is doing statistics for us. We will have the turnovers, and so important in a game like this. This is the final game, no matter how you look at it. And for these seniors, it's their definite final game. So you put everything on the floor and leave nothing behind, as that Larry Bird quote I said earlier referred to. 3.30 to go in the first quarter, one-point differential. The team with the ball has the lead. They look over, there, look over to their coach for the onset, offensive formation. Pulling people around, Lopes left side to Sylvia. Back to Lopes. Looking for a pick, gets it around Camacho. He drives, passes off an open shot by Rodriguez. In. Nobody picks him up. 11-7, Stang. 
this staying team is uh, very good from three point. And they're good inside too, as we've already right. seen. Outside for Ryan. Back to Muck. The noise factor here is incredible. Down the floor. Nice play. Oh. He lost it. He got it. Stark got it back. And I think he has all seven. He has seven out of nine points so far. Sylvia Pink Shoes is getting up slow. Yeah, you're right. Stark has them all so far. And that brings it back. Nobody on Lopes. Yeah. Lopes is a problem. Yes, he's going to have to make sure they have someone right on him at all times. 14 9. 2-2-6 two, two, to go in the first. Camacho on stock now. He switched off. They're playing a zone, I can see, for like a 3-2 zone maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. a, it's hard to call what it is. Yeah. Huh? What? Oh, second turnover from Raycroft. But I saw a push that they didn't see mm -hmm. right before that on, on Bishop staying, but that didn't ca get called. We got a Sub coming in, Canty first, Canty's coming out, and coming back in is Alex Waugh. Yeah, staying up by five right now. A lot of nerve flow in this game. You know, there's a lot of nerves on the floor. So far, Stang has handled it well. They've been here before, of course. Wow. Nobody contesting that layup, Perry. 16 to nine. Pass for Kirby Ryan, gets around a jump. Drives, bounce pass inside. Oh, nice Guess who? Pass. Stark. Yep. Nine points for him. The other way, Camacho back out. Pop. Rims by Markey. Coming the other way. Muckstat moves it up the floor in front of the opposing crowd. Wah. Whistle. All right, foul on 24. Don't you just love it when the official I don't like just puts his arm around the other, the, the um, staying coach, and they put arms around each other, and they just have a little conversation, right? That's just, just what I wanted to see. I know, right? Yeah. You know, stay away from each other. It's a final <laughs> game. It's not about you. Scary. Wah. Fakes it. Scary. Plenty of time on the clock. Buck 15 to go in the quarter. Camacho guarding Scary. Cross court to Wa. He drives tenacious defense. Yeah, Nick's wow. showing. Wa tied up. Oh my gosh. Now, how that's not a foul is because the officials are not that gifted that they can see a foul. Yeah. The easy thing to do is call a tie up. Uh, Dan Perry there jumping and diving and he got well, the ball for yeah, his team. He, he jumped him like a football tackle, tied up the ball, and they said, okay, we'll skip over the foul, we'll call a tie ball. And, and you know something? That is the cheap way out. Yeah. And I'm trying to be neutral. I want DS to win, yeah. But I'm going to try and call it both ways when I see something. And that was just laziness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a championship game. There's no excuse for it. Way outside. Oh, wow. Skimmer. Back into the hands of Raycroft. He gets hit by Perry. He comes up the floor. Slows it down right side of Muck. Muck under the baseboards. Scary for three. Touch! Really contested, Scary still just knocks that down. They got to look for the open man because of the double teams they're seeing. Yeah. 16-14, half a minute to go in the quarter. Lopes, loping around actually, hands off, way outside. This is Isaiah Rodriguez, shot, no good. 22 in the clock, they're going to hold for one. Stark on the board right there. Muck. She's across court, wah, wide pass, gives it back to Cam Raycroft. These seniors on both teams and the coaches had a nice breakfast here yesterday on Friday morning. We got to see the court, that was really nice. With the captains too, I think. Mm -hmm. Outside, scary, short, a rimmer, bounces around, goes out of bounds, it doesn't matter. After one quarter, DS trails, Bishop Stang, 16 to 14. Wow, some exciting basketball right here, Bruce. Both teams are just, very good, you can tell. I think you just hang with them because you can wear them out and change things around. One quarter statistics. This is all we got because we can look at the scoreboard for everything else. Stang, one turnover, DS, six. And that's the difference of the game, really. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie Glazer, R. Stats in it. I'm trying to think of a word for her, my lovely statistician. All right. Who's, who's young, by the way? Much younger than me. Yes. I married a child bride. Then we're going to play this back about five times till she says thank you. 
<laughs> the cheerleaders are here for Bishop Stang. Um, and they're going to get on, I think they're going to come on the floor when they feel like it. <laughs> they just got organized after one quarter. Remember the last two games we talked about the pep band? Uh, we'll play two tunes. Is that all you want? Yeah, and the exactly. cheerleaders uh, will go out a couple of times. <laughs> and these cheerleaders, we're going to line up and maybe we'll get on the floor. But I gotta tell you, the small contingent over there from DS, they're as loud as they need to be. Yeah, the energy in this building is insane, bro. That's just from you. <laughs> Cute. Scary with the ball. Scary gets away from Pink Shoes, Sylvia. Muckstat short, mm. ball got tipped. Rebound to Isaiah Rodriguez. He lets Perry bring it up. Hand off a Lopes, back to Perry. They're working around inside, positioning people. That's what Perry's job is, or he's setting up for himself. Oh, and he falls. And he got tripped. They're gonna call a foul on Monk. I guess you gotta. There's an excuse me foul, but he tripped. Yeah. That's, 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 how nice it on Monk? Yep, number five. Three? I can't count. This first, this first. Outside, Rodriguez drives, tries to fly through the air because that's what he wanted to do. It didn't go very well. No. That was a selfish play at think, the timeline. I think he messed himself up on that little. Muckstap brings it up to Wall with the head fakes. Doing less of them lately. Up Canty. Go! Oh, no! Gosh. That ball had eyes of its own and didn't like the net. Coming the other way. Driving, foul on the floor, no bucket. Charge! No, nope. DS foul. What? Yeah, that was my oh. no like official. He called that. I think he called the charge. Yeah, well. I didn't see it. Did you? Or did he walk? No. Nah. But he, thank you for one call. <laughs> Wah outside. B brings it back to Raycroft. He's open for the three. Boom! Barry. Guess who's ahead? 17, 16, Dover Sherbon. I like the celebration on that. It's like the meatball, like the Italian thing with the three pointer. Mm -hmm. You say so. That was good. I'm Jewish, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Outside to the right point, but the people standing in front of me. Thank you very much. You know, there are seats, folks. Joey Sylvia hands it off to Lopes. Brings it way out. Eight on the shot clock. Lopes gonna drive himself. Here I come. Outside. This is. Um, Sylvia, a wild shot, and he gets it back somehow. And what happened? Time ran out, no shot. 30 second clock up. Nice. No, I guess we picked the wrong side, Bruce. Who wants to stand right in front of us? Um, at halftime, you smack the left side, I'll smack the right side, uh, yeah. and down they go. I think I still got that mop. <laughs> From the other game? Yeah, yeah. But um, uh, make sure the official doesn't see it. Oh, yeah, okay. he, he, can't, he can't use it, right? <laughs> oh, please. Five, Muckstat against three, Maki. Senior against sophomore. Wow, gives that head fake, oh. loses the ball. Driving in his parry, misses! The dunk is missed. Foul on, Canty. I believe, Canty, yes. It's play by Canty, though, making him earn it at the line. You can tell why Perry's a thousand point scorer. The way that he plays defense, it's like he just forces turnovers. Two fouls on Canty, that's the most for either team. At the line is Perry to shoot, misses. Um, I can see why they win a lot of games. They are fast. Yeah, they are. And they're good, and they know they're good. And that can be a positive or a negative, depending on what, you, what where your head is. Yeah. And before anything else happens, I just want to say one thing. Both of these teams are winners. The final score will make one winner out of this whole thing. But both teams have had great seasons. And both sides can be proud of their teams before we know the final score. And from our side, it's been a great DS season no matter what happens. Agreed. Scary gets tripped, but I don't think I'm going to call that wow. a foul. Oh, my gosh. Perry on a breakaway. No, that was and Canty is yelling at the official. He old. knocked me down. And you're not even going to call that. <laughs> Third foul on Canty. He has to come out. 
That was awful. Mm -hmm. This Bishop Stang team is very aggressive on the ball. 19, 2017, Stang with 5.28 to go in the first half. Stark loses the ball, down to the floor. Wow, Perry again just causing that. You gotta admit, he's a, he's a great player, that Perry. Yeah, he is the best opponent I've seen so far. Me too. Timeout, I assume, double Sherborne. Yeah. Who's the other 1,000 point scorer on their team? It's Lopes. Lopes, I can see that. The two backcourt guys. Yep. The two guys getting all their points right now. But Rodriguez had 12 in the last game against Drakeard. Mm. So, I mean, they got some spread out scoring. Mm -hmm. uh, Camacho, of all people, had 12 against Drakeard. Oh, wow. 10 rebounds, too, because he's their big center. Uh, for Dover Sherbourne against Savas, five for Canty, five for Waugh, seven for Scary. But the leader was Stark with 24 of, uh, points, 16 of 18. Dover Sherbourne points in the fourth quarter were scored by Stark. Muck had a great game, 12 points, five rebounds, at least three blocks we know of. Yes, he had a good one. Dover Sherbourne finished number six in Division Three Central, while Stang finished number two in Division Three South. You know, that was a nice to hear. Throw them out the windows, one game to play. Yeah. Bingo. And uh, that was a nice little uh, crowd, crowd, uh, I don't know, crowd thing by the, uh, what they do? The bishop uh, mascot over there. He was dancing. Nice hook. Short. Tip no good. Wow. They fight for everything. Harry again, you see? Yeah. But they, why don't they call it a foul? He's grabbed. I don't know. They knock wow. it out of bounds. That was Lopes, I think. This is the best competition DS has seen in the tournament. Yeah, the hmm. best we've seen as well. Only a three-point game, though. 4.56 to go in the second quarter. Right side pass to Perry. Lopes feeds Perry. How did he get open? Yeah. He just diagonally went across, and Diaz is not covering. That's at least three calls like that Diaz didn't cover. <clears throat> Two outside, one inside. Scary. Play your game, boys. Ray Croft. Mm. Down to Perry. Stock gets tripped, wants a foul. Can't get it. Now he just turned the ball over. That was a hook. Yeah, he palmed the ball. You see him hook it? Mm -hmm. And they're not calling it. I got a bad feeling about these officials, and I don't want to even announce it, but they're missing a lot from the white team. Mm -hmm. and they just, you know, sometimes officials, they're human, they get overly impressed with the team, and they decide that, wow, they can't do any wrong. Well, that ain't true. Now, what push? I don't know. Are you serious? 21. And you can tell uh, Raiders are getting frustrated right now. Ryan comes to the bench. I think Waugh came back in. This Raiders team is very resilient. We've seen it through the season and the playoffs. Driving. If that's not a charge, what is? Nothing is. That was a charge. Yeah, it was. There's no question in my mind. And I'm not playing home team. Foul against Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. One and one now for the rest of the half for Dover Sherborne in the bonus. 25-17 Stang. I do not like this first half. Dover Sherborne not playing that well and uh, Stang playing very well, but the officials have decided parts of this game and that's not the way it's supposed to be. No, not at all. Marcus Raposa comes into the backcourt for Stang. Replacing Perry, it looks like. They're out of sync right now. Yeah, they are. Lopes brings it up from behind his back. Right side, Lopes gets it back. 
Lopes driving the paint, doesn't care, lays it up and gets fouled. Muckstaff second. Rick Grady assisted by Matt Freeman. I think, I think Brett Boyd as well. This is the first one. 3.23 to go in the half. Sylvia comes in. It looks like number four. Marcus Raposa says goodbye, everybody. I was out there for 20 seconds. This is both. Muck Stout with the rebound. Marky staying with him at midcourt. Muck drives. Passes across to Scary. You got to watch people off the ball, too, because they're calling crazy things off the ball. Yeah, you're right. Waugh, baseline. Waugh turns around, hits. Wow, nice little spin around. 25 19, three minutes to go in the first half. Uh oh. Breakaway pass to Rodriguez. And he is stuffed oh. by Muckstadt. Stark goes down hard over there. There's a foul called. Why do I think it's on Stark? Nope. They're calling it on Sylvia, a foul. They got that one right. Okay. One and one for Stark. Yeah, that was a hard foul. Excuse me. There's a great game going on here. It's a little girl about five years old, maybe six years old, and she's doing pirouettes because she has no clue there's a basketball game on right in front of us. It's kind of cute. She's in her own little world doing her little tumble salts and pirouettes. <laughs> it's so cute what little kids do because they don't care about the game, really. Stark. 25 21. 2.56 to go in the half. The clock moving. Rodriguez drives and scores. No! The rebound to Stark. Sometimes that ball has a mind of its own. Yeah, it did against Canty. Mm -hmm. Right there as well. Scary. Okay. What? No. How can he foul? He was fouled. Yeah, that was crazy. The guy's fouled. He's got the ball. He's allowed to move it against the defender. Yeah, unless his feet are planted, which they were. He was moving. That's a terrible call. Grady shaking his head. Rightfully so. Bomb outside. Too deep. Wah gets hacked. We're not going to call that. No, hell no. no. He, oh, because he backed off. Okay, I got to stay calm. Over midcourt we go. Kim Raycroft driving against Perry. Oh, Lopes. One of them. Scary. That's not a foul, right? Oh, gosh. He got hit. He got Muck. Going the other way. Muck takes on. Muck! Oh, wow. Muck again. He shows Lopes what a block is. Muck Tumbo. Right down. Watch them going at halftime and be so fired up. That's my uh -huh. only guess. Because this has not gone well the first half. And the officials are a major part of it. Perry outside. It's up the right point. He's got Sylvia to his left. Moves the ball. Drives outside, lopes, shot, bounced, soaked over Sherborne. Scary under the boards. Buck 48 to go in the half. Scary brings it over the Oak, Holy Cross Crusader at midcourt. Into Stark. Stark looking, bounces outside of Muck. 15 in the shot clock. Scary working on the perimeter. Raycroft the three. Good! Barry, nice shot by Raycroft. I don't even know how they're staying in this game the way it's been going. 25 24. But that's the determination of this mm -hmm. basketball team. They learned from the last two years don't let the officials rule the game. No matter what they do, you stay in your game. You're right. And if this is the score at halftime, I'd be thrilled. Perry getting a couple of screens, brings it outside. A bomb. Skimmer into the hands of Raycroft. Time to take the lead. If they do that, that'll be just totally amazing considering what's happened so far. No kidding. Evan Scary to Cam Raycroft to Muck. Feed inside to Stark. He's going to go up. God! That was nicely done. 26 25. Surprise. 45 to go in the half. Perry says, you know what? I think I'll score. Watch this. I bet she's going to drive. This is, uh, no, that's um, Lopes. One of them's going to drive. That's Perry. 
That's Perry there. He's going to drag. I told you. And he missed. He got fouled. That's what they do. They don't care as much about scoring as they do about drawing fouls. Yeah, they want exactly. to score, but they know how to draw fouls, and they're very good at it. Uh -huh. That is Muck's third. Oh, second, sorry. Second foul. He and Canty have two. And also, it looks like Stark has two. Misses the first. They're not the best foul shoes I've ever seen. Stark is out for the half, and Kirby Ryan's in. I think they want a bomb, maybe. Kirby can shoot outside well and defend very well. Tie game. Back where we started almost 16 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. We're tied at 26. Half a deck of cards. <laughs> Muckstat rolls the ball, retains possession to Alex Waugh. 22 a, seconds. About a three second differential with the game and shot clocks. Muck inside, gets the ball back. Popped by Raycroft, a rimmer. Look at Waugh! Fresh clock. Bomb outside, scary, no. Ball Perfect. tips around, they got it again, got to shoot! Good! Yes. Wah! And they took the lead with Wah! Oh my, a bomb! Shot! Ooh, I'm out. We're at halftime, go with Sherbo and takes the lead at 28-26. What a second half we're looking forward to, sir. Wow, they didn't let the refs ruin this one. We are at halftime. Going to get a drink of water. We'll see you soon. Be back for the second half. This is Dover Sherbo on Cable TV. Second half of the last game of the season, Brad. Going to start now. We have halftime stats. Yes, we do. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> All right, call me up. Okay, we got, uh, yeah. We got Lopes with 10. We got Perry. Perry with 8. We got uh, Marque with 2. And then for the Raiders... We have Raycroft with six. And Wall with six. And Wall with six. We got uh, Muck with zero right now. We got Stark with 13. And we got Scary with three. And we change ends of the floor, and each team going to the opposite basket. The throw in goes to whoever they are. Bishop Stang. I forgot already. Bishop Stang. Lopes. Outside back to Lopes. Bringing it back out is Markey. Right side for Perry, he's gonna take a jumper. No, he's not. Back to Markey, back to Perry. Maybe, maybe, mucking his face. Gets the ball deflected. It comes over to Camacho. I don't know if he's shot yet. Maybe that's the second shot of the game. And he scores and ties the game. Yep. 28 all. Only half a minute played. They're putting their press on, and what? Foul. The foul is on Sylvia or all should go home. Yeah, foul on Sylvia, he's coming to the bench. You know what, what I've seen so far, he seems like he's kind of dirty. You know, this is third foul, and so you could be right. Yeah. But you know, here's the thing about high school kids. If the officials let them get away with it, they're gonna keep doing it until you call it. Yeah, exactly. Perry on scary, knocks the ball loose, he loves doing that. Backcourt violation. Did you see it? it took the ref like a couple seconds yeah. to realize. The crowd had to tell him because he's so. Yeah. But here's the thing. The ball, I thought, was deflected by Perry. So is that a backcourt violation? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the call on that. 
Either way, we're tied at 28. Or are we? Nope, down low. We get a foul. No, a push. Something happened. Oh, scary. I don't know. I mean, scary. Yep. His second, team's first. Mm -hmm. They rook it around. High post to nobody. Yeah. Oh, thanks. That's a second good call. Oh, that's so funny because Stark hit that ball. Good thing these refs uh, aren't good. Oh, look. He just listened to the, he just listened what he did to with, the coach. Yeah, the other coach, who's his best buddy, said to him, uh-uh, that's our ball. So then he appealed to his other official. He said, oh, my gosh, we've got to give it to them. But, you know, you said Stark chipped it. Yeah, he did. But I just don't like the way they're calling this game. No. And that was a good call, though. It was a good correction they made. Dive to the floor. We're nice. going to call a foul on Ray Croft for a tie-up. Nice hustle from Ray Croft right yep. there. That's Raiders ball now. I am surprised they didn't call foul. Seriously. Well, I mean, they didn't for Perry. I know. So. I know. But I'm just, the way yeah. they're calling this game, That's you just true. don't know what they're going to call. That's true. Scary with Muckstat. Raycroft. Wah. And Stark in front of him. Muck. Nice inside. Stolen away. Lopes. Lopes. Breakaway pass for Perry. Throws it back in and... Cam Raycroft says, I'll take that into the backcourt. Yeah. He comes Perry. out of the backcourt, yeah. that is. Muckstat, left side, scary. I'm not scared. Ugh. In and out, rebound, stock, and please call foul. That foul yeah. is on Mr. Perry. No, I'm Lopes. Lopes. The thing about Lopes, Perry, and um, Rodriguez, they have very similar haircuts. The only difference is that Perry has this weird beard. I got to keep watching to make sure I know it's him. He's a very skinny beard, like long sideburns from the West, right. old West days. That high top fade. Yeah. Wow. Inside stock against three big guys. God, he gets and he gets that. fouled. He loves the flex. He's like, oh, yeah. Remember that basket. Mm -hmm. That's a big basket right there. Aradigas with the foul. His second, team's third. They're getting foul trouble already. You gotta think the football team's gonna try to get Stark. He's just catching passes between like, 31, oh, three people on him. To 28. Dover Sherbel in with maybe the biggest lead. Not tied for the biggest lead, maybe. Lopes, he walked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, another good one for us. He walked. <laughs> Maybe the refs had a conversation at halftime. Yeah. No, said, I, I went down there with the mop. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Good man. I didn't like what I was seeing. So. I will never forget that scene. Where that, that, this is a gray-haired guy, right? Yeah. There's a spot on the floor, and he makes for the custodian to come out instead of mopping it up himself. It's terrible. Scary. <laughs> Scary. Foul. Yes, sir. Yeah, you yeah. did it. It's on Marky. He doesn't like it. His second. And look, Diaz, quick little huddle there. 14 fouls on Stang. Only one on Diaz so far. That's going to make a difference. Rick Grady gives a game plan, changes it, and they adjust. Up, down, up, shot, no good. Mm, heavily contested. Nice defense from Bishop Stang. Someone was saying to me at halftime, I think it was uh, Danny Murphy, our cameraman, said, this is the first game we've seen with a real defense playing against us. A lot of play teams play loose D. This team is very good on stank, staying they're very good on defense, and know, they're Hudson. a very good fast break team. Hudson is good, though. The crowd is giving a fake countdown about five seconds ahead of the shot clock to try and play with the minds of Stang. I don't like it, but what am I going to do about it? Uh, it's kind of funny, but sort of like unsportsmanlike, isn't it? Yeah. Wah, the, head fake. The defense chant from Stan. They know where everybody is. Stark, 10 the shot clock. Stark outside is scary. He's got the three. Pops and berries. Swish. 34-28. Biggest lead of the game for Dover Sherwin. The crowd on their feet. I'm on my feet too, dude. Lopes puts the hand up in the air saying what he wants. Gives off to Perry. That's just because those people are in our way. Outside, Rodriguez fakes. Knocked away somehow. Perry up, no good. Good. Wow. 
strange foul. Well, strange, strange play. He had like the open shot and decided to just go over everybody and it paid off on Touche, Perry. Mm-hmm. Are they yelling travel? No. They couldn't be. I don't know. That wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Outside scary. I'm hearing things again. Yeah. Scary driving, puts it up against the big boys, falls off the tip of the orange. Rebound to the hands of Markey. Four point game right now, 30 to 34. Sherburn with the lead. Dover Sherburn. Perry trying to set it up. He wants Markey to give him a screen because he can't get around. Now he does. He drives, forces it up, and no good. Wow. Too much spin in that basketball to Raycroft. Foul on the floor. Markey. Mm -hmm. Markey went down. Foul on Wah. It's his first team second. Juan Scary come out for a little break. And Kirby and Canty. Yeah. Canty? Okay. Canty does have three fouls on him. Camacho. Good. Good. Camacho, man, makes a, another one. Yeah. She's got five points both in this half. Chief Camacho. Bounce to Kirby for three. Twice. Right back. Nice so 7.33 coming down to the three minute mark in this third quarter. I don't know if the boys on the floor are nervous. I certainly am. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous too. My <laughs> hands are sweating. Like Perry a scooper. No good. He's missed too many of those. Comes Up the down. floor. Muckstack two on one. Gives to Raycroft. Boom. Wow. Nice play there. Time out. Guess who? Stang. Canty mucked to Raycroft. Look at that. The fans go crazy. At the end of one quarter, Dover Sherborne trailed for the first time in the tournament, 16-14. Took a two-point lead at 28-26 at halftime, and now they lead 39-33 with 2.48 to go in quarter number three and a fourth quarter, and who knows what else. I'll stay all day if they want. Right. Hey, it's Starks, the point leader today, 16. There are three other games after this, but eh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. This is a Division I girls game coming up. But, you know, they build enough time in so you can do an overtime if you have yeah. to. It's the one good thing they do. And by the way, people, if you ever get a chance to come to Holy Cross to see a game here, this is the most beautiful college stadium. Every seat is great. Nothing's too high unless you want to sit up high. Um, you look all over the place. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it is. You know, I like the purple, too. It's easy on the Yeah, it is. You're right. Crusader purple. It's on a hill that's hard to find, so you need your GPS, that's for sure. Yeah. And they're adding on here, which is why parking has been a little tough for a lot of people. Yeah, I entered here, it was like entering cemetery gates, basically. <laughs> <laughs> this campus had no clue where to park. Camacho man, outside. Perry fakes, comes back out. Comes with the crowd of blue shirts. Hands off, Camacho feeds inside. Nice give and go with Camacho, man. Nice passing. Marky with that. Bro. Eric Camacho with his seventh point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's playing good. Ray Croft into the forecourt. He was inside to Muck. Muck goes up for turnaround, short. Muck not having a great offensive game, but it's his defense that means more to us than anything else. Exactly. Perry. Muck in his face, gives off to Camacho. Camacho in the paint, tries to throw a, um, he threw a hand grenade up in the air and somehow got a foul called on the defense. Yeah, not sure that foul was good, but. And Stark, push. What I don't like, and that's a foul, what I don't like in basketball, you can throw the ball into the stands and draw a foul. And I just think that's stupid because you had no intent of scoring like that play. How could it be a foul? Exactly. If you're shooting at the basket, fine. He wasn't shooting at anything. No. 39, 36. Stocks out for a breather. Walk comes back in. A lot of women's basketball banners here for Holy Cross. Wow. Cross court, and the men's banners are on this side. They've won a lot of championships. Yeah, no joke. Buck 56 to go in the third quarter, two point game. Foul. Ryan gets hit, and Camacho goes, "Oh no, I did that." Yes, you did. 
That's Camacho's third. Canty the only Raider with three. Muck has two, and I think Stock has two or three. Ryan out, Scary in. Stark has three. Yeah, he does, okay. Rodriguez guarding Ray Croft, out to Scary in the top of the forecourt. Lopes heavily guarding Scary. What did I say? No, no. I don't know either. I think I'm paying attention. No. You're good. Okay. Scary, they're playing, they're playing zone, so Marky's yeah. on him now. It was Lopes. Marky, Lopes, Marky. Back, Scary has the ball. Pops a runner, shot. Ball pops in the air, oh my gosh, off the orange. Wow, look at Canty, Canty down there. And he didn't get fouled, oh, are you man. serious? Right outside, Raycroft. Oh. Down to the rebound is Marcus Raposa. And Wall was able to get that thing back. Oh, that was a big bucket that wasn't made. No. Outside, Rodriguez fakes around Scary, inside feeds to nobody. Raycroft oh, with a buck 10 to go in the quarter and 28 on the shot clock. The two point lead, the Raiders. Into the forecourt. So that, that um, exchange didn't cost anybody anything. Luckily. Wah fakes. Ray Croft on baseline. Out to Canty. Okay, I'll shoot. Bang! Yeah, big shot from Canty. His first two points. 43 seconds. 42 in the third. 41-37. DS has increased their halftime lead by two more. Right side, back outside to Lopes. I'll call him Lopes. <laughs> Off the side of the backboard, into the hands of Canty, and tie up on the floor. Wow, nice play from uh, And coming scary. out of the pack, scary to Raycroft. He gets slapped yep, by, Perry. by Perry. You can't do that. Nope. Third, this is third personal. Wow. They put it up so quickly. I thought it would be his fourth, but they already had it up there. Uh -huh. What are they doing now? Are they taking him out? Taking him out, okay. Yeah. And uh, Marcus Raposa comes in for his 22nd uh, playing time. <laughs> exactly, he's about 15th yeah. to go in the quarter. Scary, they're gonna hold for one. Scary way outside where he doesn't want to be. To Muck, looking for a low post. Across the court, Scary steps back, he shoots, Ooh. he doesn't score, we're at third quarter play done, and the score is Dover, Sherborne 41, Bishop staying 37. Wow, what a game, Bruce, huh? Diaz did not let um, Bishop get back into it too, too well like they normally do in that third. And yeah, this has just been a great game from both teams. Turnovers have improved. The game started out in the first half. Uh, Dover Sherborne had six turnovers in the first quarter, six in the second quarter, while Stang had one, then Stang had two in the second quarter, and now each team has two turnovers in the third quarter, and that shows me one thing. Stang's been consistent with ball control, but Dover Sherborne has regained the edge and not turned the ball over. Exactly. They lead by four to the Raiders. They know what Stang's up to now, and they're, they're stopped, they stop trying to dribble through everybody because Stang's just quick on the steals, each one of them, it seems. Both sidelines of crowd are standing and cheering for their respective teams. This has been the best game of the year, no question. Yeah, no question. What in the world are we waiting for? Oh, oh, for crying out loud. He's telling Stark you can't get that close. Oh, for crying out loud, they, they almost never say that. Mm -hmm. Whatever, you know. <laughs> I'm just an observer of life. Lopes outside the right point. Looking low, looking low again in the corner, takes it himself. Lopes driving, travels, doesn't Not matter. Good. Rebound. I think a pop step. I don't know if they allow that. Yeah. Scary off oh. the Stark rebound. Cam Raycroft bringing it over the Holy Cross Crusader at midcourt, right side of Stock. Here he comes, he drives for first layup, oh. draws the foul. Marky with the foul. And Perry, who could have helped Stock up, walks away. And we saw in the previous two games, great sportsmanship, Hudson and Dover Sherborne and, 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 and Sabas, but not this one. These kids back off. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's a sport, it's supposed to be sportsmanship, gentlemen. Stocky, Stocky, Stock at the line to shoot. Bang. Joey Sylvia in and uh, 
De Declan Markey has come out for Stang. He's been playing well for Stang. What are they going to do next year when both these um, shooting guards graduate? Stark makes two, six point cushion, 732 and counting in the fourth. Bruce Glazer, Brad Crandall, Cam Crandall, Debbie Glazer, Damn Eddie man. Murphy, and Mike Klein hanging out with us. I don't know what he's doing there. Camacho outside, Sylvia for three, short, rim, Muckstaff to Raycroft. Stark up the floor in a bounce pass, waits to the rest of the blue shirts. Outside to Muck, Muck working around to Stark, lays it up, no good, Gets Stark the rebound, good! Ah, oh, what an animal, what an animal, jeez. 45-37, biggest lead of the game. He's a beast. Now you hear the Dover Sherborne crowd, outside Lopes, in and out, Nothing. rebound, controlled, blue ball. Raider ball. Wow, I can't even believe he got his own rebound right there. Timeout. Somebody staying, I think. 45, 37, 648 to go in regulation. And this is what we live for this moment. You're right, man. And when you think about this, back in December, as I said in the pregame to um, Sarah Muckstat, with, you know, who would have thought this could have happened? It's so difficult to get this far. you got to finish well in the regular season. This team lost to Medway once. They lost a game in Norton they shouldn't have lost. They lost both games with Bellingham. And they're the team that's left. All the other Tri-Valley teams are out. And this is where you are now. And this is something to live the rest of your life and remember, especially if you win. Yeah. And they grew so much throughout the That's what the she season. said. Yes, they started out me and they were so, so feeling themselves out. And as the season went along, you saw them mentally, and not physically, mentally develop as a team. And physically, I think. Yeah, they grew. Yeah, they grew yeah, and they, they got did. stronger and tougher. You're right about that. Sure did. And a lot has to do with heart. Yeah, they right. came to the breakfast yesterday morning with ties and shirts on their own, I was told. Wow. It was their idea, because they're playing professional and respectful to the game. And that's the kind of mature gentleman they are. I love Outside. It to Canty. He bounces right in the backcourt under the pressure. They work out of a triangle offense. Well, look who's alone! And he is fouled. Fouled or he stepped up? Fouled by Perry. Okay, it was a foul. I'm fouling the floor. I thought he said he stepped out. No, it's a foul on number two. That is his fourth. Wow. And if you get him out, the emotion level of Stan goes That would be huge. Hits low. And the Stan crowd is booing. Well, they've had it go their way most of the game. I don't know what they're booing about. I know, right? Noah's first. It's good! Nice shot. Give him the bonus, and will be for the rest of the game. Only three fouls on the Raiders. That's what I was watching. The bonus situation is so important here. Now you've got 49, 46, 37. Oh, those are big 47, shots. 37. Those are big shots. Dover, Sherborne, you said it right. Those are big points. And the mascot is sitting down for a rest. I can't believe him. Well, he's standing. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so goofy. I can't tell what he's standing or sitting. He looks upset, even though he has a fixed face. <laughs> yeah. It's the man behind the mask. Exactly. Sylvia, right side to Camacho Man. Camacho drives, and he trips over himself and gets called. And Stock says, I just stood there. I didn't do uh -huh. anything. And what, that's what they're doing. They're drawing fouls, which is a smart idea. But it's the fourth on Stark. But he just basically stood around and didn't do anything, and the guy ran into him. Yeah, that's terrible. It's a foul. It's a foul nonetheless. Uh-oh, I missed that one. So Stalker comes out and infirms Ryan. Yeah, they need to keep him. What they'll do is they'll keep him fresh on the bench and bring him for the last yeah, two or three minutes. If they need him. Yeah, really. if they need him. A 10-point lead. And if Camacho misses this one, that's a big deflation. Well, nine-point game. So Perry has to watch out. He can't play sharp defense, which means they're going to take advantage of that if they can. Scary. Looks for the forecourt. Ten seconds to get it up. Evan has it in the forecourt. He drives. Evan thinks Ooh, better. They get smacked. That. By Perry. Perry yeah. is gone! He's gone, that's huge. I'm sorry, Mr. Perry, you're a very good athlete, but that was a dumb, dumb play. Yeah, it would be uh, better to let Scary go through than have your best player foul out. That's a big loss from Stang right there. 
I give him a hand because he's a good player. Yeah, he, he's the best uh, best opponent we've seen so far. And no matter who they bring in, in this case, Markey, good player. He had 20 points against Drakett, but he's no Perry. No. Perry is the energizer bunny on this team. Yeah, he is. So they're going to really lean on Lopes. Right Scary now. shooting one Camacho. and one. Six nineteen left on the clock. The sophomore gets a second. Had some ball. All net. 49-38. They got a score. So he shoots. And he gets a big three-pointer from Markey right there. Wow. Markey said nothing to it. Got the ball, turn around. I'll shoot. In the backcourt. Coach yelling to his team. Didn't work. I think they, they're yelling, grab it. I don't know what they're yelling. I don't know. Wow. Ball turned over. Coming the other way is Lopes. He's going to drive. Scary stands up to him. No foul. And the ball twisted around. And Wall wants to know what happened. Wall got called so. for a foul, I think. Yeah, he did. Scary's lucky he didn't get called, but it could have been a charge just as well, so they let him play. Yeah. That fu the, the team's fifth foul, I believe, is on Wall. Scary's feet could have been planted, but I don't know. It's close. It's, yeah, it's Outside close ball. ball. Sorry. I'm stepping on you, and I apologize. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm a middle child. I'm used to it. <laughs> Lopes lays it up and nothing. Rebound up by Camacho. And the decimals go right up. Dover Sherwood calls timeout. Raycroft not happy with the officiating, and he's right. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been saying it all game. These refs. 5.36 to go. Pretty amateur. Uh, you know what's funny, Bruce? I almost feel like it's like mob refs. Explain that. They pulled them out of the crowd, you mean? <laughs> no, they, they're connected. You know oh, you no. You didn't really say that, did you? I'm kidding. Yeah. He's kidding, folks. I got jokes. He's I got kidding. Jokes. The guy's um, he's got a <laughs> subtle black humor. Yeah. <laughs> Macabre. Don't put a horse head on my on my bed, please. Okay. How about a unicorn? <laughs> yeah. That's... That'll last for a couple of years. There you go. Stock still in the, not on the floor. There's four fouls. Perry is gone for Bishop Stain. They got to do it without him. Big loss. It's full court ball for. Dover Sherborne, 536 as I said, and who knows what. Up the floor for Wah. Fakes, gives it back to Muck. Love that fake. Wow. Muck still hasn't scored. Wah fakes, gives it back to Muck. Muck stabbed inside for Raycroft. Wah for three. Boom! Dang. Oh, yeah. 52 43, take that. Outside shot, good. Another three. 52-43, coming down to the wow. five-minute mark. Clutch. Holy mackerel, we're in crunch time. Wah, cross court, too scary. He jumps, gets the ball, bounces it left to Raycroft. Scary. Trust me, they don't even hear this crowd. They're very focused. Working the clock down to 10, what they do in the fourth quarter. Ryan for three. Switch! Oh, wow. What a... Let's Fly pass to Camacho. Muckstack. Oh, man. And look, he helped he him right up. He called the foul, I swear, before he hit him. Yeah, he did. He had his whistle going before the hit was made, so there's no chance he's going to call a block. No. But it looked like a foul. It was very close. But you don't blow the whistle before the play is over, sir. Yeah, that's true. At the line, Camacho man shooting two. Muck's going to make him earn his points. It's funny, the fans under the basket, behind the basket, will usually put their hands up to try and help a player. They're on the sideline doing the hands, wink, fingers know. in the air. See them? Spirit but the, fingers. The player can't see them. Spirit fingers. Yeah, whatever. It's probably. He makes one. 55 47, 437 to go. Makes one thanks to the spirit finger. Well, I did see the cheerleaders do a quick jump. So. I haven't seen them yet. Sorry. Stark fakes, turns it around, 
He's back in the game. So Cam, Cam. Nice fake. Ooh, nice look at him, Cam. Wow. Inside. Wow. Wait. Canty, God. Oh, Canty, oh my gosh. What a play. Did you see that? The play of the fourth quarter so far. 57-47, losing the ball. Creech handing it his lopes. Brings it back out to Isaiah. Rodriguez, he drives and doesn't know where he is. He's off the court right now, five on four before he gets back. Fly pass down the floor. Raycroft's alone, waits, puts it up, and oh. foul! And on foul. Sylvia! Wow. The, what made that work was the wild shot on the other end, and then there were five on four break, and the man was open on this side. He makes the bucket, he gets fouled. 59-47. Unbelievable, 355 left in this game. This is the first team that has climbed over the 40 point mark in the tournament against DS, so DS just scores more points. Right. And by the way, they do give up. Um, Bishop Stank has given up a lot of points during the season, and that doesn't work. Ball bounds in the air, yes it does! Stark. Stark with the rebound, he goes up! Good! Oh my gosh! 61-47! 3.45 to go. Bomb. A Lopes rimmer. Misses it. Foul on the floor. Oh, I think Stark's gone maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, who do we not like 21. tonight? Yeah, he's gone. Stark with a great last game of the season. Gets a big standing O from all of us. He helped them get the 14 point lead and he fouls out. And that's all you can ask. Seemed like the, the guy tripped over him, but. Football quarterback Kirby Ryan's in the game playing a guard position, yelling out what he wants to do on the defense, or on the offense when they get the ball. Markey shoots. Markey misses. I knew that. Muck with the ball. Raycroft. Oh, you didn't what foul me. Yeah. No. Yeah, I know. Camacho like man shoots three, short. Now Scary gets the ball back. What the heck? Timeout Raiders. The Raiders call time. I was just thinking they're gonna call foul on Scary for touching the ball. Yeah. Three and a quarter to go. Wow. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna sit down and pass out for a minute. All right, my hands are sweating. So Dover Sherwood has 20 points in this quarter, and they've held staying to 10. That pretty much accounts for the big lead. They led by four and picked up 10 more here in, in the fourth quarter, lead by 14. Mm -hmm. Both teams are in the bonus, and actually the next foul by Bishop Stang puts Dover Sherbourne in the double bonus means they'll be shooting two for the rest of the game from the foul line. This guy's putting his little kid down the stairs below us and he looks like he's a little wind up doll. Okay, I wound you up, now climb the stairs, but dad, I need your hands to help me climb the stairs. I think I filmed that guy's wedding actually. Huh? I think I filmed that guy's wedding. <laughs> Back to the action, scary with the ball. Good pressure on the back, put by Camacho man. Pass to Kirby Ryan, back to Scary. The double team and everybody they get, get their face on. Ryan with the ball, working the clock down to 14 in the shot clock. 3.08 on the game clock. Working around for the best shot, what they do in the fourth quarter of the lead. Scary got fouled. Found Sylvia, I think. Hmm. Yep, zero. It's fourth on Sylvia. But as you said, he plays a brutal game. Yeah, he does. Don't let those pink shoes fool you. Maybe that's the idea. It's deception yeah, by exactly. color. I do like them. Those are shinier than the last pink shoes we saw. Right. Yeah. I hope I see you with some pink shoes next season. Hold your breath. Scary makes the first. Noah Canty comes in for Alex Wah. 6247. 63-47, 302 to go, 180 seconds now. Yes, I can count. Lopes to Sylvia with four fouls, drives, gets away, skims it, ball into the hands of Scary, look at him drive. We got a, a rugby scrum on the floor, and it's going to be possession arrow Dover Sherwin, I think. Yep. Big possession, let's see if they can take advantage of this. 
Are you as nervous as I am? Yeah. Noah Canty with three personal fouls has had a great second half. And his Camacho. Ryan was hit by Camacho. They weren't calling those in the first no, half. No, they weren't. He just called it. Finally. Look at Kirby Ryan. He's at the line so fast. I want to shoot. Right. Two shots for Kirby. Can't be slapping hands. This isn't patty cake. I'm not saying anything except 64-47. Yeah, except scoreboard. 65-47. This is where you start yelling scoreboard. Yeah. But I could never do that. Lopes is going to shoot. He's driving. Let him score. Get the ball back. Run the clock down. 2.30 to go. They just start fouling. They just grabbed Scary and they didn't call a foul. Yeah. They wanted to foul him. Muckstack got fouled. No call. But it's okay. Run the ball. Works to their advantage. Mm -hmm. Outside it. I like to see Muck hit on the score, boy. Perimeter game. So would I. Perimeter game. Foul on. Yeah. Lopes. Like he is going to. Lopes, that'll be his third. Lopes, third See him knock down at least one. And, and you know, you, got, you look at the scoreboard and say, should you be fouling now at 212? Yeah. yeah. You're down 65 49. You got to start fouling and hope they don't score any points. Mm -hmm. Oh. Muck for a second. Oh. Gets the ball back. They got a fresh clock. That's nice. all they need. Nice board there. I think that was Raycroft. Notice nobody inside the perimeter and a foul on number three, Declan Markey. He's gone. Oh, it's fourth. It's fourth. It's fourth. I like a quick scoreboard keeper. I'm not used to it. Yeah. Marquis out. I would have left him in. I would have left Marquis in, but they're not. And the crowd is doing a little bit of an early goodbye cheer, but who knows. You know, I Repo do love that song. Raposa comes in. Still a ways to go, although it's 65-49. 66-49. Yeah. Who would have thunk it? Right? Ryan just knocking these free throws down. I had a feeling in the second half they would show their guts, and they did. But I didn't know it would be this big. Wow. 67-49. The championship is close at hand. Two minutes. Sylvia. To go. Pink sneakers it up and out. Sylvia with her own rebound. He doesn't need to work the clock. They bring it outside. Low short. They're just forcing it up. Isaiah for a basket. And they call a timeout. Now, here's my question. Buck 50 to go, right? 67-51. You call a timeout. What do you tell them? Take a 16-point shot? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are you? You are hearing the Dover Sherburn crowd. Bishop Stang thinks they're in a mausoleum with no air in the place. They are silent as can be. Yep, Mas the look on the mascot's face is saying everything. <laughs> the mascot has his hand over his mouth like, uh, I don't know what to do now. I'm not used to this. Both teams came in at 20 and five, but you can tell where it's gonna go after the end of this game. Yeah. I don't know what they say. It's catchy, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't even know what language it's in. <laughs> this place is going to go wild in a buck fifty. Oh my gosh! Happen. We hope you're enjoying our last cable cast of the season. Brad and Bruce, Cam, Danny, Mike, and Debbie. Uh -huh. And the cheerleaders going. How are we supposed to go out there again? I know, right? No point now. Full court pressure. Sylvia is still in the game, looking for his fifth foul. Look at the way they worked that pass. They don't even care if the clock runs out. That was a foul. Yeah, it was on Rodriguez. He fouled. No, they're not going to call it. And Cam Raycroft smiles and says, oh, what the heck. Laughing. Yeah, it's 67-51. You don't have to call it now. Good but it was spirit. a badly officiated game. It got better, but now it's, you know, it's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Scary. You know, Ten the, seconds. The refs can only do so much. Mm -hmm. Scary hands off to Kirby. Kirby with four on the shot clock, a runner. It doesn't matter. It's a dear ball. Where Buzzer goes go. off. No, it doesn't matter. It's, it's white ball. Mm -hmm. But what matters is the buck 18 to go. Yeah. 
67-51. And can I say it? Shut the lights out. <laughs> what a well lit arena, by the way. Yeah, I know. Much better than WPR, eh? I would say so. Sylvie off balance. When, that, when did they last scored? A bomb outside by Rodriguez. Nothing. They haven't scored in a while. How's this guy getting all these rebounds? You're going to count that? Fine. So it good. looked like yeah. he got fouled before the shot, and they let him carry through on the shot, so he got two and the third point attempt. And luckily, it doesn't matter. 67 54. Sylvia playing tough under the basket, getting all the rebounds right now. Foul on number four, Marcus Raposa. His first. And Raiders were the underdogs in yep. Bolt. What? Oh, in please. Bolt the game? Yeah, Boston Globe, Boston Herald. The East Coast newspapers don't even know there's a Western and Central Mass. I'm being honest. It yeah. doesn't matter what the sport is. They think, well, you guys live out in the forest, right? So how are you going to win the basketball games? Right. And it's like they don't recognize us. They really mm -hmm. don't. And that's why we're the underdogs. The crowd of students is already marching to the floor as Evan Scary makes a shot. Coming out is Alex Waugh. Coming back in is Noah Canty. They're coming down from the stands and they just have to hold their breath because they cannot come on the floor yet. But this place is going to erupt in 62 seconds. 69-54. Ah! Wow. One minute to go in the season for Camacho. He's going to do a runner. No, outside. Bomb by Rodriguez. Ooh, off to the left. Scary with the boards. Dribbles out of the crowd. He's got to break away in wow. Ryan. He feeds it to Ryan, and it goes out of bounds. But he went down to the floor, and I think they might be calling a foul. I can't tell. Yeah. Rodriguez foul. His third, and at the line is Evan. Knock me down, Scary, and I'll get back up again. Listen to the crowd. They're all Dover Shurable and staying, staying till the end. Very respectful. Well, oh, they got buses to get on, right? <laughs> 70 to 54. Wow. This team is no joke. 49.1 to go. You may never see the likes of it again. They have not been in the final since 1981. Muckstack coming out. Baruti coming in. Clancy coming in. Scary shooting. They already know they won. They are just so antsy out there. 71-54. See you, Bishop Stang. Thanks for coming. Uh-huh. Bomb by Sylvia. Nothing. Don't know when they scored Ooh, last. Can't he fouled. No, no, no foul. He definitely got fouled. He got smacked. Doesn't matter, right? No, you know, taste of victory is great. If I was the coach at the end of the game, I might say something. But Rick Grady has more class than me. He's not going to say a word to the officials. You won. That's all that matters. And his team won. He's not going to compromise that by any means. And that's the right way to go. You don't say anything to the officials. I'm just pretty ticked off. They couldn't call a better, more fairly even game. Yeah, 13, 13 seconds. Whoa. Got a shot automatic 30-second um, clock, like you were just saying, shot clock. They don't care. Classy. 12 seconds to go. Go score. They're so classy. Max Winterhalter, the witness had that name all night. Winterhalter passes into Sylvia. Winterhalter gets it back. Everybody else standing around. Winterhalter drives and scores. Yay. Five, four, three, two, one. Division three champions. Wow. You know, I'm so excited for these guys. Look at Muckstack, drums to the crowd. They're all with their crowd and friends, all blue shirts. And we are champions, Bruce. Congratulations to these boys. They just never gave up. They tried so hard. They were the underdogs. And look, look who's got the trophy now. Congratulations. Look at Rick Grady in his white shirt. He's stuck in where to go. He's got a smile on his face, but he's so laid back. I wish he'd jump up and down once in a while. But this is as exciting as he gets. So this is fantastic. My son was born in 1981, okay? He's um, gonna be 38 this year. And that's how long it's been since Dover Sherborn has been to the finals. That's crazy. We're staying for the trophy presentation and whatever else happens. You're thanking the officials, that's a gentlemanly play. <laughs> 
71-56 is your final score. Diaz had 30 points in the fourth quarter. 19 for Bishop Stang. Everybody hugging on the floor. The runner-up presentation made first, and Stang is an outstanding team, but not the winner. Nope. By the principals and athletic directors of both schools. Trying to pick up the PA system. Wow, wow, wow. Remember this moment. Did he announce an MVP? Uh, I'm not sure. So here they are. So muck. Oh, they're all getting uh, lanyards with um, medals on them, you know. Yep, like, championship medals. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool and so deserved. Fantastic, Bruce. I'm so glad we covered this season. Wow, what a season two, huh? Mm-hmm. We couldn't have asked for anything better. Parents with cameras taking pictures. And the runner-up um, medals being given to um, Bishop Stang. Outstanding season. They may not think so right now. When they look back, they'll realize they were they had a great season. They ran through the tournament, and now we got the trophy presentation. Mm -hmm. Stang will get their runner-up first. They still get an award. Congratulations for a job well done. And now we're the head coach and captains of Dover Sherborne. Congratulations, boys. Congratulations, boys, you did it. Hard work and perseverance. Live the moment, you don't know when it's gonna happen again. It's so difficult to get this far, and they did it. And now the picture that will be framed and sent everywhere. Get that picture. The championship banner and the team behind it, the Dover Sherborne Raiders. Facing, facing the wrong direction, of course. Uh. <laughs> Number one. You know what, Bruce? I wish that this this team could play another divisions championship. You mean, like, move up? Yeah, yeah, no, like, if they could... They oh, could stay play. together. No, no, if they could play now, like, the the next divisions champion. You mean, like, two? Division two? Oh, div yeah, exactly. It's yeah. tough. It's tough to move up. Yeah, yeah it's tough. It, it's just that it's a challenge. Maybe, yeah. but it's a challenge. But sure. that's why you stay in your own division. Ah, uh, true, true. 
Who knows, right? Never yeah. expected this until you saw it at the end of the season, the last few games we saw. This team was building up a winner, and they were beating teams, and they were doing it as a team. They played together a long time before this, and as the playoffs went on, you saw they had the moxie, the resiliency, the team, and the heart. Mm -hmm. And nothing that Bishop Stang was going to do could fool them. Fantastic. Yeah. We are thrilled and proud to have brought you this season of Dover Sherborne High Boys Basketball and the Division Three State Championship. We'll be back next season with football and basketball again. Final words, Brad. Uh, just great job. Congratulations, guys. So, until next season, so long, everyone. So long. Put eight seconds in the shot clock. Scary. To Wa for three. Bingo! Ah. Ball inside for Ryan. Wow, nice nice feed to Ryan. Yeah. Timeout visitors, you betcha. Mucks that drives it in. Nice. again on the big guy. Raycroft for three. Bang! Oh, Raycroft, look at that celebration. Wow. Wow. Boom! Ah. Oh. See you in Worcester, everybody. Greetings from the WPI Sports Center, where tonight the Raiders of Dover Sherborne will host the Sutton Sammies. Was set, was shoots, was scores! Six on the shot clock. Stock shoots. Score! Yes. Final score, Dover, Sherborne 45 and Sutton 40, and they go on to the finals of the Division III Central Sectional. Greetings from Worcester State University, where this afternoon the Raiders of Dover, Sherborne take on the Hudson Hawks. This is the Division III Central Final. And back to Cam, bounce past the stock, he's coming in, lays it up, and in! Raycroft drives, hands off to Muck, outside, Canty for three. Swag! Very, wow. Can you believe this right now? We are back at the Worcester State University for the Division Three State Semifinal between the Raiders of Dover Sherborne and the Sabbaths Bulldogs. Top of the key, Wah for two. Bang! Way across court to Wah. For three, short, in! Dang. Looks short to me, but it's good! In and out, rebound, Wah! To stop, drives against Johnson! Wow! It in, he gets and Canty open for the three. Got it! Finally. To Hodge, 12 in the shot clock. Hodge drives, nice. Mucks that, yeah. blocks the ball. Yeah. Taken down by Cam Raycroft. Mucks that, left side, open is Kirby. Ryan! There it is. <laughs> Stark. Got it! Nice shot from Stark. Three-pointer. Muck to Stark. Fakes, wow. scores! Good night, everybody! Who would have believed at the beginning of the season? Maybe somebody, but this is the team. As that's what brings us to today's Division III Championship at the College of Holy Cross. Scary for three. Touch! Wow, heavily contested, Scary still just knocks that down. A rimmer, look at it, Fresh clock, bomb outside, Scary, no! Ball Good. tips around, they got it again, gotta shoot! Yes. Chanty comes Up the down. floor, Muckstack, two on one, gives to Raycroft, boom! Wow, nice play. Now five on four before he gets back. Fly pass down the floor, Raycroft's alone, waits, puts it up, and oh. foul! Five, four, three, two, one, Division Three champions!